On February 14, 2019, an atmospheric river, or AR event, occurred in the eastern Pacific Ocean and impacted the western coast of North America with severe precipitation. Here we show a loop of imagery from NOAA's GOES-17 satellite where a long corridor of clouds is identified stretching from the tropics to the California coast. This same feature can be observed in the infrared imagery where dry areas are red and humid areas are blue. We pause the loop to measure the extent of the AR. The corridor of moisture stretches over 4,000 kilometers from 12 degrees to 37 degrees latitude. Next we display NOAA's ALPW data product showing water content in the atmosphere. Typically, scientists and forecasters can only see the four layers of data shown on your user control panel, but with virtual reality, we can estimate the amount of water at a continuum of altitudes. For another perspective, we take a cross-section along the length of the moisture corridor and enter a surface viewing mode. From this angle, we identify high moisture content in the atmosphere, especially at high altitudes. Now we overlay wind vectors from the GDAS computer model. Here we observe high-velocity winds at all altitudes pointing the same direction downstream. This causes transportation of moisture comparable to stream flow in a river on land. Exiting surface mode, we display a set of data points from the NUCAPS dataset. This dataset maps the vertical profile of temperature and humidity in the atmosphere. Forecasters can use this data to help predict the amount of rain that an AR will produce when it impacts the land. Notice that the wind within the moisture plume encounters land at an angle that is nearly perpendicular to the coast, a feature that can cause intense rainfall. Lastly, we play through the accumulated rainfall data and observe how the western coast is doused with up to 7 inches of precipitation as the AR works its way from north to south over the time period that we observe. These heavy rainfall events produced flooding and landslides in California. NOAA continues to develop new capability to analyze three-dimensional Earth science data sets in virtual reality so that scientists and forecasters can better understand severe weather events.